Well, hello everyone. Look who's here. <laughs> Hi, it's me. Melissa Fresh Bloom and Clothing, my daughter and I are about to head into MMF Thrift Store on Manatee Avenue. Manatee Something. Road. Road. I have no idea. And the theme of the day is buying small things real tiny with great profit we hope to put in my suitcase and get me on the plane with inventory to go home so stick around join in hit that like and subscribe button and we will see what we can find So here I am starting on the first aisle, just looking at little handbags, little wristlets and purses. Now while I have found a few brands, oh, Melissa's popping in with Etienne's $2.50 for these beautiful shoes. I don't know that I would have picked these up even if I was home and didn't need to put things in a suitcase, but we always show each other cool finds. So like I was saying, I pick up purses and handbags. Here I'm looking at this handbag, and this one turned out to be Valerie Stevens. So I did hold on to it for a while, but in the end I put that one back. If that had been a better brand, even a Talbot's brand, I would have picked up that little evening handbag. Salvation Army socks, very interesting. Maybe those were a promo or a giveaway. This store was very neat and organized. It was, I'm gonna call it a mom and pop thrift store with volunteer workers who were really sweet. I very much enjoyed shopping in this store. I was looking at pencils. Always have my eye open for vintage pencils. Recently, I did a video on shoes that I pick up, so if you haven't seen that video, I think that's only one video back. The shelves here were quite bare, so I don't know if a lot of Floridians don't donate their shoes, or maybe this store doesn't get that much footwear donations. Now I know I said I was looking for things I could fit in my suitcase, but look how cute this cookie jar is. Oh, I would have bought him in a heartbeat. He did have a little tiny chip, but oh, so cute. A little vintage dish. And this was Noritake Japan. This ashtray caught my attention because it was very heavy weight. I do sell glass ashtrays, but generally they don't bring a high dollar return. And as we know, putting a glass ashtray in my suitcase would not have been a good idea. This was a beautiful plate. So as you can see, I really got sidetracked looking through this thrift store, but I figured it'd be fun to see what was on the shelves. It's very rare I go into the thrift store and just look at one type of item. Now this mask was probably a no-name, but very much caught my attention. I thought I'd try this mask on for fun. A little creepy. This was a very pretty dish. I'm not sure what the center circle was, and it didn't have any branding or marking on it. I am flying home tomorrow morning and I am coming home to quite the pickup of dishes. So I'll be showing that on a video soon. Dishes are my least favorite thing to ship. I think out of everything. I don't know, electronics might be up there too, but I still sell quite a bit of China, uh, Corel, things like that. Maybe not so much Corel, but I still sell a lot of China and porcelain, uh, mostly European dishes.
It's really interesting to me when I go state to state thrifting. I've been thrifting in quite a few states in the United States and you can almost tell what state you're in by what the donations are. So Florida, of course, has a ton of outdoor sporting equipment, you know, swimwear, summer clothing, but sometimes you come across things that are quite surprising for a warm weather state, I'll call it. So I have found winter boots here, coats, I think maybe people move down bringing items from other states and then decide to donate them when they realize what items they truly don't need if they're going to reside here. So that's always fun to find ski equipment and other things, other crazy things in the Florida thrift stores. But today I'm really trying to zero in on smaller items, which every little thing was just catching my attention. Here, this skull mask, it was plastic. I thought maybe that would have been metal. I thought this hook hanger with the, uh, the puppy dog tails was really cute, $2. If I was home, I might have picked that up. It was made out of pewter. And I thought that was really sweet. A fun place to keep the dogs or the cat leashes. This needlework caught my attention. I wasn't sure what I was looking at. Somebody did a French knot and satin stitch seashell framed print. Say that three times fast. And this was done very well, beautiful. But again, I didn't think the profit capability was there and I don't know that somebody really would have wanted that. I didn't see a sticker on the back that said the fabric was from Hong Kong. So uh, that could have been mass produced, but those are French knots and that's a hand technique. Lately, I've been very attracted to art. So art might be a thing I continue to sell as I get older. I loved this fish print. And now I'm just going down a rabbit hole looking at art prints, <laughs> pretty frames. It's amazing to me after this many years of thrifting, how many items I can be seeing for the first time. You would think that the majority of it would be repeats. We sure have a lot of stuff in this world. For a person to go to as many thrift stores as I do and continually see new things, I love it. I absolutely love it. So even the times that I won't fill a cart like this rare trip, I still love seeing all of the items and finding pretty, pretty treasures. Two little rocks glasses, I think those were, with the Canadian maple leaf uh, print. Here again, I'm showing the sign they made for me. They knew I was coming. Just kidding. <laughs> made me feel right at home. I thought this stained glass was really good. There's the tap test. Now I think somebody paired this with a lamp that didn't originally come with it, the lamp part of it. But of course I couldn't bring that on the plane. Just some little inexpensive Hawaiian shirt wall decor. Here was the first time I went down this aisle and I missed seeing the little gold clock I later pick up. So keep your eyes open for when I find it the second time. I was so glad that I was the one that found it. Here I thought I was looking at pom-pom trim that you would sew onto something. So I thought I would show this to Melissa. Uh, she might want to use it for ribbon packages, you know, package toppers or, or to tie packages. But it wound up that that pom-pom ribbon trim was actually a mop head. Here's a sign that says ambition. The world makes way for those who know where they are going. I thought that was a cool saying.
No real big finds here, but very interesting nonetheless. Here's a bag of knobs. They're round ball porcelain or ceramic dresser drawer poles. I did not pick those up. So, just looking yeah. pensively through these. <laughs> Look at this cool. I, I don't know. Is that? Oh, that's so good. Isn't it so good? It comes oh, that, with the, oh, the blouse. Oh, the bow is killer. Look at the bow. <gasps> Isn't oh, that adorable? We love that. we love that. Hold that up against yourself. It's gonna be oh, my sweet. gosh. Oh, that's so cute. With the matching Jack. Adele Simpson. I think they want $5 for it. Ten dollars, ten dollars for the. Pe oh, so I think we're gonna get it. I love the vintage print. It has, oh, Frost Brothers. So cute, right? Oh, I'm just gonna stick that there for a while. Okay. Well, I show your tags. We've been in the store five minutes. <laughs> so that's an anthropology. This girl has the eye. You need to follow her. No. <laughs> Um, Emerson Fry, oh. I've only come across them once, yeah. so I'm going to look this one up. Have? And is that a double zero? It is a double zero. That's super cute. Five dollars. Oh, really cute. Yeah, all well, the buttons are there. Sue Wong? I don't know, Sue. Is it ever Susie Wong? Uh, I Susie don't Wong think is somebody. So. But um, her stuff sometimes has a really good following. Oh, and this yeah. is a, kind of an artsy piece, it goes down. It's almost like a flamingo dress, but a flamingo dress has the bottom. This is the purple tag too, so 250. Ooh, I love that. I liked this one for the style. Um, it's Muse. Oh yeah, 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 but yeah. But isn't that a cute style? Yep, we love that. Okay. This one is Joestar. Joestar has a pretty decent following, but it's a small, but it's got fish. So I'm going back for it? and forth. It's got a few flaws. $5. I'll probably put this back. Oh. It's got a few poles I didn't see. Will they take a look at the poles and flaws or you won't even deal with it? I don't think I even want to deal with it, honestly. Okay. Somebody else can have that find. <laughs> and then the first find. Don't say it out loud. Okay. And it's it's both pieces. shape it's got the buttons and they want seven dollars buttons are so good it even smells clean so yep in the store five minutes she's got a <laughs> cartload already i've just been through dresses as you can tell good florida thrift store yep and here i'm just scouting around just looking at everything pretty. If you hear noise in the background of this voiceover, I apologize. It is a white noise machine because Barry is taking a nap. That man is a night owl. Just going through picture frames. I have found quite a few high-end picture frames in my thrifting career, and a lot of them have brought over $100 a frame. So you can be sure I always look through frames. Now, I would be very surprised if I found any golf equipment of any kind of name because Florida is really the golfing capital. There are golf courses all over, and I think quite a few people hit the thrift stores for golf clubs. So the Max Fly could have been something there, but again, I wasn't going to look that up or try to bring that on the plane unless I found some really high-end driver or putter, and then I would have shipped it home. I thought this was quite interesting, a set of four foil prints with different scenes. I thought that was quite attractive for somebody's office. I really didn't take time to look through a lot of the clothing. 
uh, as my suitcase is quite filled already. I did some shopping here at, where was I, Target, and picked up a few things for myself. So coming here with a quite full suitcase, really limited on space going home. Here I wanted to give you a shot of what the jewelry was like in the jewelry case. Presently, I don't pick up a lot of jewelry. I don't find a lot of jewelry in Pennsylvania. They do have the jars filled with, I'm going to call it scrap jewelry, where you might find a few good pieces, but generally they're charging between $30 and $35 a jar. And the majority of the time, a lot of the pieces look broken. So if I did go into selling quite a bit of jewelry, I would probably buy it by the piece like within these cases, and it is something I'm planning on stepping up my game. As I get older, I'm 60 now, or almost 60, I will be looking at sourcing lighter weight items. I probably will start trying to learn about jewelry by just putting in different keywords and then sorting the solds to see what type of items have good profit capability. Now we do know, of course, the precious metals and gemstones, but besides that, I realize vintage jewelry, probably Bakelite, Amber brings very good money. So I do have a little knowledge, but I really need to increase that knowledge before I start laying out money in a category I pretty much know nothing about. I will probably purchase a metal scale and a loop if I decide to sell jewelry on a larger scale. Here I'm looking at purple tassel earrings. I don't think I own purple, but I did not pick these up. Here was a little board of pins, and I know there are pins that bring very good money. I think this would be a very hard category to learn. I could be wrong about that because you really have to know the age, you know, what graphic you're looking for. I don't know that I would be able to pull that off at this point, but I never say never. Here I'm just looking at some medals. It looks like maybe field day. Somebody won or in some sport. I really didn't take a closer look at that. And of course in Florida, a lot of seashell necklaces. This is not big. You could fit that on the plane. <laughs> it's only like five foot. I know, beautiful. Look at all the feathers. Look at those feathers, so pretty. And zoom in on the price. And what is this? This is rabbit, I think. I'm guessing rabbit. It's real. Boy, that's something. Very nice. Thank you. And of course, I went from looking at small things I could fit in my suitcase to artwork and furniture. <laughs> this Asian print was very good. It had damage, but that is all scrap art. This is scrap material. I thought that was really good. A lot of the silk was damaged, but I thought that was very good. Whoever made that put a lot of time into that. and other various prints. You guys know I'm no art expert, but I've done quite well with art for knowing nothing. There, I'm waving hi. Caught myself in the mirror. And here I'm going through a few aisles that I had missed or that I passed over. And here was the best find of the day. This is Imhoff, a Swiss made clock six dollars it's a little wind up i show it in the whole video and right in my cart they had a little room in the back with books and audio media we did take a quick look on top were these asian statues now for unmarked statues i thought these were fairly good this did not seem like a cheap made item. They were heavy. I thought the painting on the faces were quite good. The eyes were centered correctly. Baskets, you know, some work went into this. I don't know that the average person would want to decorate their home with Chinese men carrying baskets. 
right there, a little telltale sign that it wasn't finely made, that the bottom had the mark of where the clay was joined. But I thought the painting was quite good. Not exceptional, but quite good. If I had found these at home, I would have went back and forth a little while, but I don't think I would have picked these up and they were priced individually. But the next item that I'm going to show you, I would have picked up if I was home. These were bookends. They wanted $8 a bookend. They're a green marble, which I would rather see them with a Carrera marble or a white marble. The green is a little outdated looking in my opinion, but for $16, I would have at least, at the very least, run comps on them. So made in Taiwan is marked on the bottom. And I thought they were fairly good. No, I could be wrong. It could be a very cheaply made item, but this is something I would have run a comp on. The brass scales, I thought they were quite good. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Look who I have here. Hello, I'm Melissa. <laughs> I am visiting Melissa down in Bradenton, Florida, and just grabbing a few days of fun together. I came down for my dental visit and always love to spend time with this one here. So today is Friday and we figured we'd run to the thrift store as usual <laughs> down the street and see what we could find. And I was looking for small items that would fit in my suitcase for the way home. And Melissa, what were you looking for? High profit items because I'm not really selling clothing anymore. So something I could flip for more than five or ten dollars. And today we have a special guest, Jason from down the way, is coming in for a surprise hello. This is the young man that lives down the way, and Melissa and Barry are good friends with him. Is that place quiet? No, Jason, no, no, no. you can no, no, no. no, we're right here. Right here. Can you see? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's a weird it setup. I know, we have a weird setup going on, but as long as you're on camera. Yeah. So. There you go. <laughs> Do you like selling on eBay? Yeah. <laughs> and what are you doing today? What's going on outside? Anything good? Uh, no, I found the dinosaur land stuff. Oh, good. I'm glad Ooh, you I like this it. clock. <laughs> <laughs> is it old? It is. Oh. Yeah, we found it in the thrift store today. Ooh, you went to the thrift store? Yeah. I bought it for $6, and how much do you think I'll sell this for? Take a good look at it. It's this clock. What do you think? Maybe. That's, that screws on. I just didn't screw it on. I got it. Go ahead. You tell me what you think that's going to Maybe sell. it'll be a... Uh, it looks... It's really heavy, so... Yeah, maybe if you, like, weigh it, yeah. that's how much you should pay. It's oh. certain making you pay. Okay. okay, so if it weighs 8 pounds, you think it should be $8? Or maybe more, like yeah. 10. Okay. That's a good thought. Scale up. So I want you to tell me what tells you that this might be a good item and not a cheap item that you'd find at Dollar Tree. What makes you think that is a good item? So far you said it's heavy. What else? What else it do you see? It is really cool. It's very cool. Do you think it's old or new? Old. And why do you think it's old? Because my mom said that these are old-fashioned clocks that were back in the day. Back in the day. Yeah. Do you remember what we were talking about when we were looking at jewelry? If something uh -huh. has a marking, does yes. it have a marking? Uh, it's a Swiss. Swiss. So that's where it was made. So most likely Is that's that? a good clock. Yep, that's another marking. That's the brand. Can you read that brand? We could. It's hard. I M H O F. So what is I M? I'm Hof. Oh, very good. That's exactly the brand. I'm Hof. Yep, and you know what we think that'll sell for? How much? Over a hundred dollars. What? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe if we teach them while they're young. <laughs> I'll let you weigh it later. Go back All right there. Back outside. Bye. Good seeing you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So that was your first item. Yeah. <laughs> So Melissa just announced that she is not picking up clothes that you went to pick up higher price. Price. And how'd that items. work out? Did really you... well. She got all clothes. I did. <laughs> <laughs> but if I was going to pick up clothes, because I have so much jewelry here and it's easy to ship, it's easy to list, it's delivered right to my door, so I haven't been thrifting. So if I was going to pick up something like clothing, I wanted it to 
bring a profit of more than five or ten dollars. Yes. So that's yes. what I went after. Yeah. And I did find some really Yeah, good and things. I left her, we were in the store and I left her for five minutes <laughs> and I came over to her cart because we separated. I was filming. And her cart was like three quarters of the way filled. I'm like, it's a tiny didn't cart. we just get here? It was a tiny <laughs> cart. Where you see what treasure she found. So like and subscribe, hit the bell notification if you would, so you know when I post a video. And sit back and enjoy this special video of me spending time with Melissa Fresh Blooming Clothing on eBay and Melissa with two L's over on her channel. The first item I picked up was Lily Pulitzer. It does say Lily Pulitzer on the side, and this means it's a newer Lily with the gold, and it's a wet bag, so you can bring it to the beach. Has a little drawstring. They wanted a dollar. I have yet to price this, but I'm thinking I could probably get about 15, maybe 18 dollars. So for if a buck, I don't steal it and put it in my suitcase. Isn't it so <laughs> cute? It's, it's so, so good. good. Yeah, <laughs> so Florida. The next item, I've only ever found this label once before. It's Emerson Fry. It's a good label. So these dresses seem to be going for about $65 to $100. And it has a great resale value where things are selling more than they're on. Is this silk velvet? It feels like silk velvet. It's gorgeous. It's Let's a size see. double zero. All right, what does that tag say? It is ran silk with a cotton ace tape. Ace tape? Ace tape, so that's this yoke yeah, here. Yeah, it's like a grow grain But color. a rayon silk velvet, beautiful. It's like fluid in the hand. It's, yeah, not, a so silk, nice. it's not a stiff velvet, yeah. You would know immediately this was, was a nicer item. I paid $5, and I should be able to easily get $75 for it. She's got the eye. <laughs> <laughs> the next item isn't probably the highest ticket, but it'll be an easy flip. It is Saturday Sunday, which is by Anthropology. And it's a striped dress. Nice cotton, easy piece, just pull over your head. They wanted $5 for it, and I could imagine selling this for about $40. I love that style where it's very, what do we call this, it's bias cut? Yeah. So it has seams in it that is very slimming. It has a lot of different asymmetrical seaming and yeah, really, really shaping and flattering. I could see this at a casual wedding, church for sure. There's a lot, Absolutely. Of, a lot of places you could wear that. Yeah. The next is Sue Wong. Sue Wong does really well. I don't find her often. Let's see, there we go. It's a size six. It's a true red. I call it lipstick red stretch dress this has a high low but the high is in the back i have never seen that <laughs> that is so cool so a lot of ruching a lot of fitting and gathering i paid now lavender clothing just happened to be lavender <laughs> um, we got there and there's a big sign that said lavender 50 percent off i'm like Thanks, it wasn't guys. purple, it wasn't <laughs> violet, it was lavender. lavender. Yeah. <laughs> so this would have been five, I paid two fifty, and this should bring probably sixty dollars. Really? Sue Wong pretty. Does pretty well. Body con, clubbing, yeah. All of those good keywords. My checkout person, Jason, is the manager. He even appreciated how pretty this dress was. That's beautiful. This is Muse. Um, Muse is its own label. Some people put anthropology, but it is just Muse. Now, you know how some brands are connected or yes. they're within the same? Is Muse in the same company as Boston Proper? It used to be. I okay. don't know if it still is. Okay. This is a very, what, kind of like Grecian? Yeah, even it's peasant, but Grecian. It's got bone on off shoulders. Yeah, I love that. The little bell, three-quarter sleeve. So $5, and I'll probably ask, 40 to 50 dollars for it yeah i love um, the glimmer in it it's yeah the real color. sparkle glimmer really pretty it's weighty too so it won't cling to every bump. yeah it hangs nicely very yeah. nice next is do you want to hold this up is this is my piece? favorite piece the minute she found this i was like oh please buy that so this is a two-piece by adele simpson it also has a stitched label that says frost brothers i think this is probably 70s I'm really bad that way. I'd really have to look at 70s style. I think it's a little bit older. I could Do be you? wrong. Yeah. It could be 60s, maybe. And look at the look at this zipper sewn in. Did somebody somebody hand tacked that yeah. or something? These could be 
fake so white good. buttons. So good. It's the got tweed a bow is the neck. really thick. What size is this? I think it's <laughs> six. Oh yeah, this is a vintage six. Oh yeah, it's, it's a tiny six. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a two. Two. <laughs> So I don't know how much I don't do. This was ten dollars. Um, I'll probably try it at a hundred. Yeah, and yeah. just see what happens. Yeah. Look at the print on this, guys. This is really good. Yeah, really good. The coloring is good. You know, the coloring is very seventies. So right. I think you might it's be like right. Autumnal coloring. Yes. Yes. Is that how you say yeah. that? Yeah. Autumnal. Is that how we say? I it? don't know. That either means atomic bombs or it means full, <laughs> full colors. It's got full colors. Yes. I was trying to button this and talk and no. <laughs> Did not Can't do, do those one, two though. things. Here, I'll give you this. Okay. This was my first find of the day, and I knew going into that store I was going to find a St. John. I found St. John that. there before, and I just knew. I love when you we have that feeling, and yes. you go in, and there it is. <laughs> yeah. So it's St. John Collection, so that is one of the higher tiers. Nice, simple. Um, I don't think this is their Santana. I don't think so either. What other knits? Do they name their other knits? I think they do. It's, oh. It doesn't have a stretch. It's more of a wool-based knit. It's got a little stretch, but not as much as the yeah. Santana has. And it's got the gold um, emblem buttons yeah, with the SJ, the, the signature buttons, going the whole way down. I don't see any holes. And the top is a six, and I think the bottoms are a four. Bottom is a four. The top almost reminds me a little bit of a military style. I can see that. You know, just the collar, the high collar with the yeah. little notch. Yeah, that's very military Ooh. inspired. I really good pretty. at this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love when we love ourselves in something A little brown like, pump oh, that yeah. I don't own. Yeah. To go to your office job. Yeah, I don't very have. like Chanel. <laughs> yes. You know, this does look Chanel. Yeah. Yeah. Good call. Good call. So those were all of my clothing, and then I'll jump over really quickly. I found some postcards. They're vintage postcards for Paris. I write postcards a lot for Patreon members and for my niece, her and I, our pen pals. Now, you want to check the comps on vintage postcards from Paris before you give them. I know you love your followers and the people you send Patreon boxes to, but there might be some really good value in those. Maybe. Okay, maybe, <laughs> maybe <laughs> not. <laughs> maybe, maybe she won't do if that. If I thought they had big stacks of them, if, for instance, this, I, I know this is still here to this day, if this wasn't here, like the Twin Towers yeah, yeah, or something yeah. wasn't, maybe it would have value, but I'm not comping these. These well, are just... Well, say you could get $10 a postcard, let's just imagine, okay. or $40 for the set. Would you then sell it, or would you still be giving them away? I'd probably sell it. Yeah, good. Good. <laughs> Glad to hear it. Then we found these. I don't know what they are. I'm going to open one. Open it. I'm going to use it to pad jewelry. So instead of like wrapping it bubble wrap. Oh, they are styrofoam sheets. Very thin. It's almost like a piece of cardboard, but they're They're styrofoam. like fake calculators. Oh, that's a fun... I don't have my numbers. When you're boxing time. multiple calculators, you put yeah. these in between. I have no idea. Is this a filter? It just says made in China. Yeah. Fabrique en Chine. Oh. It's in French. Wonder if this would filter. Oh, I thought we were smelling them. Yeah. Filter. Air masks. Yeah. No, but anyway, if I put two together and, and wrap something around it, it'll just give it a little bit of padding. I sell a lot of small you things. You can also pad your postcards. Oh. Oh, so they don't get bent in the mail. I could. Just made that oh. out. Then I found some ribbon. I'm always on the hunt for ribbon. Look how fun that ribbon is. That was 50 cents. Then a whole big thing of like a periwinkle lilac -y color. Lavender. Lavender. <laughs> 50 cents. It's pretty. Some Lovely. polka dot, 25 cents. Oh, this reminds me of like Baskin Robbins ice cream or something. That oh, was, yeah. Somebody had a polka dot like that. And okay. then this one I had to get because it said sea made. Oh, 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 the graphics. And there's there's a little bit on there. It's like an olive green. And then one dollar, we've got 25 feet of Martha Stewart. Oh, first snowfall. Yeah. So it's just a light blue. I might that cut it That was a really good find. Well, yeah, that? for a dollar for all of that, how much? 25? 25 feet. Yeah, I think that's so. a really good deal. Yeah. Yeah, I go through ribbon pretty quickly, so that'll that'll be fun in an upcoming shipping video. And I think that's everything, and I spent $42. <laughs> 
I think you just I, made that. I up. think it's roughly that price. <laughs> I don't know. Nothing's gonna be exact in this yeah. video. We are on a break. It's 40 something. <laughs> We're just making this up. All right, so I went in with the intention of finding smaller items that I could stuff into my suitcase and not increase the weight greatly of my suitcase because I didn't want to pay extra on the plane. Yeah. And I looked at lamps, furniture, <laughs> artwork. artwork. <laughs> <laughs> but I was good. I didn't buy any of it, although I was tempted, and I found three items which Melissa definitely helped with. So to get started, I will show you this men's, I'm going to call this a safari hat. Is that what this is called? Sure. What would you call this? A crushable hat, a packable hat. Pack, travel, yeah, all the keywords. And this is put out by the Tilly, the Tilly hat. It's so. the world's finest hat. Yes. Just in case you did not know. And I'm on the hunt for C.N. Allen and his phone number's in here. Just saying. <laughs> I dare Marcus. you to call him oh, right no. now. No, what if he's like, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not that bold. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, I have his hat. Shall we try it on? Uh, Shall we try on? I could be awesome uh, Oh, you look so cute. <laughs> I'm all, all about trying on hats. I don't think I've ever worn a hat in my life. So. Oh, and now we're going to wear. <laughs> Who was that woman that was in uh, Crocodile Dundee's movies? I'll be her. I have no idea what her name is. I think she was an Aussie. I'll be an Aussie. Jane. Was it? No, I have You just made that up. <laughs> oh. All right. But it's so a good hat. Was, yeah. How much was it? Number one, I paid $4 for it. And I don't know why, but some of these bring very good money and some of them don't. And I don't know the difference. I looked at condition, pre-owned versus new. I looked at the style of the hat, like Melissa said. This one is the Endurable, so I guess that means it's just very well made. No clips, I have to do a little more research. I'm expecting to get at least 30, hopefully. Mm -hmm. And uh, the great thing is, is it's meant to be crushed and put in a suitcase. So that's <laughs> the kind of inventory I wanna find when I'm away from home. So yeah. yes, good to hat. crushable hats. Next up, Melissa found and said, do you want this? Yes, please. I can't sell Hilfiger to save my life. Tommy Hilfiger. The colors are so cool. Yeah, yeah. I almost want to wear this myself. You when look I, good When I them. wash the car, a little pair of cut-off shorts. Very cute. Um, cut-off meaning cut-off at my calves. And, <laughs> <laughs> and I like it because the lettering is applied. It's an applique and yeah. stitched on. Really good. And I paid $3 for this. No idea what this will bring. It might be, you know, not a high profit item, but definitely worth picking up. Yeah, pretty much it's vintage, right? Pretty sure. I'm gonna guess like 90s, 2000s. Yeah, it doesn't have any websites, but it's double stitched. I would think that Tommy Hilfiger, you could guess the age by where it was made. So this is made in uh. the Philippines. So that's what I'm guessing for Tommy, yeah. along with what the label. Now this is a printed label right in with the triangle. So not one of their like flag logo labels. So we'll see. But um, definitely it's worth so a cool with dollars. the colors. Yeah, yeah, definitely cool. And I only found one other item. I know collective gasp from the <laughs> from the community. Yeah. It's like lavender came home with three items. Yeah. It was a smaller shop. It's volunteer run. It's not Goodwill or Salvation yeah. Army. Yeah, which means the pricing can be better than Goodwill. They're not as high. You know, I was surprised because to me, Florida thrift stores are much higher and I thought the pricing in this store was very reasonable. Yeah. So you guys will be seeing a tour of the store. I've included that in this video to show you all the shelves and I zoomed in on a couple of the prices so you could get a feel for it. And this store is located on Manatee Road? Avenue. Manatee right. Avenue. Avenue. In what town is Bradenton. it? Bradenton. Bradenton, Florida. So if you're in Bradenton, Florida, stop by MFF, MMF. MMF. You'll see it on the sign uh, in the video. And the next item, last item I found was this clock. And this is a vintage Imhoff. I-M-H-O-F. It's a wind up. I do have the little key to wind it up. I am not sure. What did you just do? I applause. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what are you doing behind my back? Um, beautiful. Weighted, as Jason said. <laughs> <laughs> he wanted to weigh it. He yeah. really wanted to weigh it. Yeah. If you have children in your life that are showing any kind of interest in thrifting, selling, I encourage you to give them items and let them guess, you know, which ones might be worth money. You know, start to educate them because the excitement yeah. that children have 
in this type of business, you want to capture that when they are young, so they just develop a real sense of sure. treasure hunting. If you make it a treasure hunt, it's all good. So I'm Hoff and Vintage. It's a Swiss made. I'm gonna call this a little desk. Do you think? Oh no, it's it has a wind up, so it's probably a bedside. Okay. Bedside clock, right? If yeah. it has the alarm. Yeah. And like I said, I have the key. It's gorgeous in person. Yeah. I think there's a serial number on it. Really, really. Bet you you're going to be able to look that up somewhere. Yeah. And, find and I'm Huff brings uh, fairly good money. So very excited. I paid $6. I'm going to guess off the top of my head. It could be totally wrong and I haven't wound it. I don't know if it works. So that's going to greatly affect the price. Sure. Maybe as much as $100. So yeah, maybe that's the more find that. of the day for me. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. And which item of yours will be the find of the day? What do you expect to? Probably the St. John. I, I would expect so. to get about $100. Beautiful condition. For. Yeah, yeah. And I love... It, it works! works. <laughs> How did they do that? Oh, that's great. Okay. The end. We have to wake up now. <laughs> Perfectly planned. Oh, I love it. But, um, yeah, so definitely $100. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching, guys. Thanks for joining in. I will hopefully be back home, flying back home tomorrow, and I'm on it making more videos for you guys. Thanks again for watching. Thank yeah. you for being in my of video. And my mom should be back next month with me. Yes, yes. I go for my final dental implant procedure. They look amazing. So um, these are still the temporaries, but I got to try on the prototypes of the finals. It's like, I feel like I'm getting like some kind of scientific car or something with how much work has gone into this. And I will probably insert a screenshot of me trying them on. So all of these teeth are vaulted to my head and I'm not going anywhere, but I'm excited to come back and spend time with you. Maybe we'll go thrifting again. Perfect. Maybe, maybe. Yes. All right, so you wanna watch Melissa's channel, Melissa with two L's. She does amazing shipping videos. Her Dymo installation on your computer, is that what we call mm -hmm. videos? Really good. She walks you through step by step. If you have a new Dymo and you're overwhelmed of how to get that going, you wanna watch those videos, along with all of her whole videos with her husband, Barry. Great fun. So thanks again. Please like and subscribe. And as always, go out and get what's yours. Bye, everyone. Bye.